Hello YouTube, this is Mitch Hopper with Mitch Quick Eats. I also want you to check out Mitch Hopper Universe as well. It's another channel. Um, yeah, I think you'll like it as well. Uh, also, check the affiliate links below and everything else like that. Also, if you can, write a comment below and we're still doing a raffle. Now let's get into uh, making our pizzas today, okay? Okay, you too. Now today, what we're gonna have is three different kinds of pizzas. We're gonna have uh, pepperoni, mushroom and onions, and uh, sausage uh, pizza. So hopefully we do this good together, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, the simple thing is to do is always have the sauce. I like to place the sauce in the middle, take the spoon, that you'll use, you just rotate it out to the circle, out to the edge, like that. See how easy that looks? You rotate it all the way out to the edge until all the pizza is always to the edge. The sauce. When it's rotated out the edge like that, you can put two kinds of cheeses, because pizza is normally made with two kinds of cheeses. People don't really tell you that in the store that some of them have only mozzarella or whatever else cheese. You have to put two kinds of cheese to make it that taste that you desire. Um, now, I've learned this because I used to work at Friggy D's Pizza on Long Island in New York, believe it or not. <laughs> now you just put the cheeses around the edge. So a sprinkle, don't have to be too much, just be enough, okay? Put the mozzarella on there, on top, of the regular cheese. Okay. It looks like, somewhat like that. I, I usually like to place it down with my hand and push it out to the edge a little bit more so it could be circular. Then after you do that, you can either add the, whatever ingredients that you want from uh, your, you know, mushrooms and onions to, you know, whatever else you want to add. But right now we're going to add this one first for this pizza. Put them all around and place them all around. Like that. So you make a nice little circle around the pizza. This is just a tutorial to show you how you can make pizza. You can do it any kind of way you choose to. You can make it with chicken. You can make it with so many things. Pizza, you can do so much with it. But I'm just going to show you three simple basics today. That's still going to make you see that it's delicious, okay? Now, once you get the press rooms on there, pepperoni on there, then you can see that it's done. See, that's how it looks with the pepperoni. Now for this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Put pour it in the middle, as much as you think you need. And then you're gonna work it out like a circular situation to make it come out to the edge. See how easy that looks? Sometimes you have to do it a couple of times. Make sure it all comes out to the edge. You can add just a little bit more if you have to. Just circle it out to the edge. Once you do that, still same thing. Two kinds of cheeses. Sprinkle the cheeses on the top. You don't have to put too much cheese because there's two kinds of cheese on there. It's going to taste real good. So you only put a little bit enough on there. Okay. 
Okay, once you do that, again, the mozzarella. Sprinkle the mozzarella on there. We'll never want too much cheese, because then it tastes funny when it's too much cheese. So you gotta put just the right amount of both. Still, I'll put my hand on there, pushing it to the sides, making sure it's even. And then, I can use onions and mushroom, make sure they're all, like, broken up a little bit before putting them on there, because you don't want them on there crazy. And you just start putting onions on it. Drop a few onions on it. Okay, you two. Now you see how we got the pepperoni pizza, the sausage pizza, and the mushroom and onion pizzas. Now they look great. Now we're gonna put them in the oven, and it should be in the oven no more than 15 to 18 minutes. Then I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Now I'm going to put each one in the oven with a plastic wrap already, I mean with a aluminum foil already, just so I make sure I don't make any mess all over the place. So we're going to put the one with me on the bottom, heavy meat on the bottom, and these two put Let's leave, and we're going to put them on the top next to each other. This is a quick way, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have to worry about cleaning up. Throw all it up. Okay. Straighten things all right. 